Welcome back to The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, second chapter. Uh, you know what? We're going to start off like we did last part. We're going to have a... Another fucking fight. Yeah. Hell another yeah. Uh, another fucking Give me more of fight. this song. Are you going to say what the name of the song is? Uh, when I remember what the name of the song is. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, uh, it, the name is Obstructive Existence. This is the Chrono Cider. Yeah, Chrono Cider. Chrono Kiter? Chrono Cider. Chrono Cider. Neutral to everything. Yep. Um, it has decent defense, and um, it has a craft called Golden Armor, which buffs its attack and defense. Real cool. Very cool. And then uh, it has a 30% chance of causing faints uh, when it uh, hits with its uh, normal attack, which is stun attack. But it doesn't have a summoning attack. Mm -mm. Then we're good. Yeah, you just have to fight the five of these. Then we're good. Yeah. It's already better than the last one. Yeah. It's only... It's only? Um, well, it's not ten minutes long. Actually, the fight is like six minutes and 45 seconds long. So yeah. Spoiler alert. Well, stick around long enough and I'll spoil you. Wait, what? What? I don't know. <laughs> don't listen to me. Uh, okay. Okay. This makes less sense than knife dick. What does that even mean? I don't even know. Yeah, this is a pretty standard fight. So, Cloud, I hear you started playing Kirby and the Forgotten Dreamland Land. <laughs> yes, Dream. I have started Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I'm near Mass the attack. I'm oh no, I'm near the end of the <laughs> third world. Very good. How are you enjoying that one? Oh, it's great. I like it a lot so yeah. far. Yeah, that's because it is great. It is a fantastic game. It, Have you done the roller coaster level yet? Not quite yet. I think it, if it's the last level before the boss in the um, in the third world, then I'm literally that's my next level. This is the third world or the fourth? World? Oh, it might be the fourth world. Okay. okay. Yeah. Because it's. I don't remember. Well, I'm on the third world. Is the world with the like the amusement park? Oh, okay. So then, yeah, it would be the last. It's the last level of that. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Nice. Um, I will say, so far, yeah. it's shaping up that if the whole game is as good as I've, what I've played so far, it's probably, like, top three Kirby games. That's because it is. And it is as good as what you've played so far, basically the whole way through. Nice. Yeah. No real dips in quality, honestly. No. Excellent. Looking Welcome back to, to Legend of Heroes Trails of the Sky, second, second chapter, chapter, part 28. Where we talk about Kirby. Where we talk about Kirby. Yeah. yeah. Let's keep talking about Kirby because Jack and I yeah. started playing a little game called Kirby Return to Dreamland. Yep. Return to Dreamland and Land. Dream, return to Land Dream Dreams. Yeah. And? And? It's been fun. It's been fun. And you'll be seeing those videos at some point. At some point. Oh, snap. Coming to the Gaming Stooges channel near you someday. Yeah. Uh, our goal is to finish the game before I leave. Mm -hmm. That would be ideal because it'd yeah. be kind of lame for me to have to finish the game by myself. Yeah. But you still do it live. You're like, all right, here <laughs> I am. Hey, without, Jack! Without Jack. Jack! <laughs> he just cries. But yeah, we've been doing the audio live as we go. Yes. Nice. Yeah. And, uh, it's good. Yeah. It's a great game. As of right this second, we've, uh, gone through World 4. Yep. Yeah. And there's seven worlds, so we're a little over halfway done. Yeah, it's Kirby. It's a Kirby week this week. Yup. Bunch of Kirby. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I am too. I still haven't played, like, most of the DS Kirby's, so I wouldn't be able to give a full tier list ranking of Kirby's. The main one on the DS is Squeak Squad. I think I have them. I would 
open it. That would make a lot of noise. That would make a ton of noise. Yeah. Oh, I was Jesus. Say, Shut there, up, PS5. Because there's a ton of... There are quite a few uh, DS Kirby games. There's that one, Mass Attack, Superstar Ultra... Um, I'm blanking. Canvas Curse? There we go. Canvas Curse. So. Go with Stell. Good job, Estelle. Now we're down to two. Look at that. Someone's been naughty. What are you blowing? I just had a, I had a hair on my screen. Why are you putting hairs on your screen? I don't know. Stop it. Shut up. Return to Dreamland is unfortunately one I have not played yet. And unfortunately, it costs a decent amount of money to buy it used. So That, that is true. It might take What's a little bit. What's cheaper? I mean, I'll probably just buying have, a copy of that, or just or I could just play it on Dolphin. I'm, ticket to come out and play it with me. Mm, honestly, <laughs> it's a toss-up. The answer, the answer is definitely buying it for yourself. But I know. Yeah, I mean, if you want to. Yeah, if that's what you, if that's what people want to do, they just want to come out. <laughs> Spend a week here, go see Streetlight Manifesto, and play Kirby Return to Dream. But yeah. only Streetlight Manifesto. That's the only thing that you'll take them to go see. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the only thing he'll take other people to go see. I'm different. I'm special. Yeah. You got to go see the Space Needle. Yeah. Good job, Olivier. Finish that one off. See, that one wasn't as bad. We didn't have 10,000 summoned enemies. You know what I just realized? Zin leveled up. There's, what? What did you just realize? There's quite a few games coming out this year being published by Nintendo that end in 3. Yep. Splatoon 3, Bayonetta 3, Xenoblade. Xenoblade 3. It's going to play soon, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. the month. Yeah, 29th. But... Yeah. Since I don't intend to get Xenoblade Chronicles 3 myself yet, I will be getting uh, Digimon Survive that week. Same day. Digimon <laughs> Survive comes out the same day as Xenoblade. Yep. Same day. Yeah, Al is like, rip my wallet. Yeah. He, I get, R.I.P. his wallet. I guess from what I heard, he's gonna have. I think he's mentioned having to pass on Digimon because he has to get because he wants to get Xenoblade Three, and he doesn't really have enough money for both. But I mean, that's fair. But I think he has a desire yeah. to get both. Uh, Al, let us know Good. in the comments what your plans are for the end of the month. Good Al. Good Al. I mean, I can pitch in because I kind of have to also pay him back money for getting me PS Plus for a month. Give him money. Yeah, give him. You know what? I did. Like, I missed it. I missed his birthday. Maybe I, if you, you kept actually, opening this chest over and over again. I missed his birthday, so I'll send him something. You'll send him. I'll send him like eShop money or something so that he can put it towards the other game that he wants to get. I don't know. And Charizard leveled up. Mess message me about it, Al. Hit, hit me up, as the cool kids say. Ho hopefully he watches this when it actually goes up. Yeah. Not like, <laughs> like a month later. Like a month later, yeah. After he's already acquired both games. Yeah, maybe you should, like, actually message him. Probably. Yeah. No, you know what? I'm gonna tell him in a roundabout way to watch this video, and then uh, he's gonna Make hear. Make sure you watch this video. Yes. <laughs> in fact, I'm just gonna say it right now. Put it in the spoilers. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, we finally made it to our uh, actual destination. We are at the Royal Villa. Um, so now we need to go find the person in charge, and then we need to find Ooh, the missing child. Okay. But before that. Is it a sassy lost child? Uh, no, not really. Darn so it. make sure you talk to, not Ham. Ham. 
Where's, talk to where's eggs. cheese? Eggs. Where's, we need to talk to eggs. Where's cheese? Uh, somewhere else. Damn. Um, that is, once again, there is a, a Steam achievement for talking to three specific pigeons. And one of them is eggs. One of them is eggs. We already met Golden Toast. Um, eggs and Golden Toast. Yes. It's, uh, the achievement's called The Breakfast Odyssey. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Raymond's gonna give us the little some some deets on the missing uh, person, who is just playing hide and seek. But Raymond here is so awful at hide and seek that it's understandable that he would have to call in uh, us. I don't think there's any more fighting. No, there's no more fighting in this part, so I can get rid of that list. no more fighting in this video? No. Oh, well. It's just all stuff. It's a secret. Thank you, child. We should just have a really tough boss fight with only this music playing. There's good boss fight music. Yeah. Why would we just have... Because the dissonance. This is decisively not... Uh, boss music. Which makes it ironic nice. when you play boss... When you fight a boss and it has music like this playing over it. No, no, thank you. No, no, it's okay. You guys need to get cultured and understand nuance and irony. Uh, isn't that what you do with clothes? Yes. <laughs> God, that was stupid and I laughed anyway. <laughs> Success. We got him. Um, so what you can do is you can go around to different rooms and uh, check on them. Uh, to see if you can find the girl, but uh, she's uh, in a very specific place. We can't enter yet. It's that room. Uh, go into this room. No, just kidding. Not this room. Go down. Good. Right this front. Go into this one, and it's everyone's favorite character from the first game. Oh my fucking god. Oh no. It's the Duke. Duke Dunnan. Everyone remembers Duke Dunnan. I do, unfortunately. Good. It's good memory. Cloud, do you remember our, our good boy Duke Dunnan? Uh, yes. Sort of. Okay, and good. He's, he's an absolute idiot. I it's hate him. It's kind of hard to forget, honestly. For all the wrong reasons. Yeah, he was forced into house arrest because of us. Yeah, good call there, Duke. Yeah, and not because he's a fucking criminal. Yeah. No, Duke Dunnan's like a bad character in a good way, because you know you just you just hate him. Yeah, but that's fine, because that's what he's built for. Hatred. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it works. I mean, every everything from his character design to the way he speaks to all of his actions. Yeah. He's just a bad per ma bad man. <sighs> kind of like me. You can tell him about how bad I've been to you. Lennon's been the worst. Yeah. I hate it here. <laughs> I mean, I, I also hate it here. It's way too hot. Yeah. yeah. Fair. It's hot boy summer, though. It is. Although, I have been letting him watch Bobo, Bo, so... It say what, say what? Yeah. Bobo. Bo, Bo. Say what, say what? Bobo. Bo, Bo. <laughs> Al replied in the uh, 
chat, so he will see you. He will watch this video. Okay. Thanks, Good. thanks for watching, Al. Thank you as always, Al. Now the question is: Are you going to remember to read the comments? Yeah. Wow. Um. He'll probably message him back. But he should do it as a comment on the video. I was going to yeah. say, comments I, are good for the YouTube I algorithm. think all I need to do is um, make sure I have my notifications on for uh, comments left on uh, YouTube Studio, and it'll be like, hey, be listen. Gone. I just have to sign in to the uh, Gaming Stooges. That's not the video. There we go. It's right there. <laughs> He was approaching something like a point, but not quite. Yeah. It's fun to have this cutscene without Chloe in the party. I, I wonder how different it is if you actually have her in the party. Would Chloe be in the party if we went with Annalise and uh, uh, Agate? Or is she just never in the party for this cutscene? Chloe? Oh, wait, she's with us right she's now. She's with us. Oh my yeah, god, I'm, she's, I'm fucking stupid. Yeah, I, for, she, I forgot that she was with us, yeah. because she hasn't been an active party member for a hot minute. Oh, uh, the the girl is hiding here. Under this counter. Wow, that's... Nice. Uh... <laughs> I like how Estelle just comes over behind the counter, she just was, looks down. He was right fucking there. Yeah, he was standing right what next to it. What a fucking idiot. There she is. And it's Renee. Everyone remembers oh, her. Yeah, I remember her. I don't. I thought it was Ren. Uh, probably that one. Yeah. I don't remember. We definitely had. I definitely remember having this discussion. Probably in the first Let's Play. Not, not in the first Let's Play. The one we in saw her earlier in this, in this game. She's new to this game. Oh fuck! Got it. It's been a while then. Yeah. I was gonna say. Uh... It has been. We are already on part 28. Man, That's time true. flies. We have been doing this for already half a year. Hey, because... Just 14 weeks. Or 14 weeks. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. I was thinking... Yeah, no. Forgive me. Okay, you're forgiven. Ignore me! Yep. You're ignored. Still, 14 weeks is... <laughs> How many months is that? Like four ish, close to yeah. three to four. Three to four. Yeah. Anyway, Rensical. <laughs> uh, Ren is going to be following us back to um, the city. Specifically, we're going to go back to the Bracers Guild uh, to see if we can get any information on her parents' whereabout. She can't hang out in the villa all by herself. <clears throat> She's so smug. She doesn't quite have a stealthy, but... No. Close, but no cigar. <laughs> what the hell? Her parents abandoned her. Wow. In a foreign country. Incredible. Yeah. But don't worry, she's 11. She can handle herself. Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, her parents are awful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kind of. Easy peasy. Mm, okay. That that's not the smartest line of thinking. 
Estelle, you're basically a stranger to this child. Yeah, you've met her once before. Yeah, this is a group of strangers taking a child away. Yeah. But someone has to babysit her, I guess. I mean, bracers are like... Good people. Yeah, I mean, they're kind of like law enforcement. Yeah. Almost, so... Except they actually do their job. Yeah, yeah. they're like the neighborhood watch. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> the hall <laughs> monitor! <laughs> exactly. So, so better with them than some other random Joe Schmoes. I mean, like especially Zinn, who's like you know a class. What class is he? Uh, class A. Class A bracer. Uh, along, I was gonna cut the whole trip back, but along the way, when you reach the Royal Avenue, oh, it's Philip. Yeah. See, even Jack remembers Philip. I remember Philip because yeah. he was the fucking the butler. Bu the butler for Duke Dunham. Mm -hmm. I remember some things from the first game. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, I'm proud of you. Now here's the five bucks for reading the script. I <laughs> that is Taco Bell money. We had Taco Bell. We, we did. Spoilers. Yeah. Did you see that in the spoilers chat club? I did see that. Okay, yes. We had Taco Bell and watched Bobo Bo. It was great. Yeah. Except I got shorted on a fucking burrito. That always happens. There's always one thing missing. I had that happen where like, I, I... fucking... Go ahead. You, you go ahead, you go ahead. I was just gonna say, I had that happen where, like, I ordered a, bu a few things, and one of them was, like, the cheesy potato uh, burrito or taco or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, like, I didn't get that. I got everything yep. else but that. Yeah. I ordered the fucking... Like the uh, it was a cravings deal, wasn't it? Yeah, deluxe cravings box, and uh, they also forgot my drink when they handed it to me. But I immediately recognized that because it's not in the bag. <laughs> uh, my drink, my diet Dr. Kelp, my Baja Blast. <laughs> um, but no, I realized like as soon as I was like three burritos deep, well, I'm like, hey, I had an extra burrito that I got in addition to the cravings box and they didn't give it to me. Yeah. And it was like $2.50, so, you know. But we were already home. Yeah. And I did you get a receipt? No, I don't. Okay, so then, yeah, there was no way we were going to be able to... Because if you had a receipt, I would have been like, all right, let's go back. Anyway, uh, this cutscene starts up as soon as you enter town. Okay. Yeah, that's why there was a weird cut. I want to explain the cuts because people will get mad at me if I uh, if I show all the footage nowadays. <laughs> what if I cut this part where it's where it's uh, story and Elnin's on screen and Elnin and Cur Lieutenant Colonel Sid yeah and Chloe and, and Olivier are on screen yeah. What if I I cut this where a lot of uh, popular characters are on screen? That would be. Very much not cash money of you. That'd be too sweet. Too sweet. Too sweet me. Woo! -hoo! There we go. <laughs> All right, this is the girl. Give yeah. us money. Can you go wait on the second floor where we talk about very important details? Hmm. She's all pouty. Imagine if it's always work, work, work. Imagine if Landon, instead of like having like the stuff that's not necessary to the game get cut, imagine if he cut all of the story and only the battling and running around was actually in the let's play. This would be a let's play where Landon plays Dokkan Battle. <laughs> uh, more than any. Okay, no, maybe not more than any previous Let's Play. You'd uh, have to pay attention a little bit, <laughs> and you definitely didn't do that in Kingdom Hearts. I definitely never do. <laughs> Except, it sounds like I do. I'm very good at making it sound like I do, because I ask the right questions. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> and I say the right stuff. I mean, even if he's playing Dokkan Battle, he's still paying attention to Kingdom Hearts, and that is already, in and of itself, impressive, considering how much he despises it. True. Someone's threatening the treaty. Oh yeah. Uh, as a little reminder, uh, because we kind of sometimes gloss over the story points, there is a large uh, treaty, uh, like non-aggression pact, 
uh, that is happening uh, soon. Um, and so we, that's why we have representatives from Arabonia and Calvert Republic. Um, and so someone's going to be doing something nutty. Uh -oh. So, uh, that's why Lieutenant, uh, Colonel Sid is here. He's going to ask us to help heal with that. And we're going to go, okay. Yeah, all right, we'll do it. Yeah, fine. We have nothing better to do. It's gameplay. It progresses yeah. the story. Great gameplay, so. great graphics. Great graphics. It's too bad you didn't come out when um, the uh, crossbow games, uh, Trails, uh, Trails to Zero, came out, mm -hmm. because then we would just be, you'd be just watching me play that. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, it'd be like. <laughs> Sorry, Justin, but it'd be like when I went to just go hang out with Justin, except for an entire week instead of just like a day and some change. Yeah. It'd be just Pretty like much. That. Jack would just be watching That's Landon. That's why I haven't visited Justin, because I don't know what I would do with him if I showed up. We like, I could. We played a little bit of, I can't remember which games, like, we played like a couple, like, a little bit of like a couple of games, but not like a whole lot. It's just because he's he he's really good at playing multiplayer games that I'm no good at and don't usually play, and vice versa. I'm usually into playing games that are multiplayer that he does not play, and then we both have single player games that we both play. And I'm really good at playing nothing. So <laughs> awesome. Yeah. I mean, we've been playing Kirby, haven't we? We have been playing Kirby. Mm -hmm. Uh, but according to Landon, that's watch... nothing. You guys aren't playing anything now. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're not really playing much. <laughs> um, we did watch Jackass Forever last night, though. Yeah. How was that? So, that was great. Yeah. I would, I, uh, I'm glad you liked it, actually, because yeah. I was like, there's some gnarly stuff mm. in those movies. Well, I knew what I was getting into. Yeah. It's Jackass. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, uh, we're dividing up where to go. Um, we're gonna kick uh, some people out of the party. No. Yes. Who? What's that look you for? You know who. Nah. <laughs> She's right there. This one. We're gonna kick that one out. Yeah, it's real cool. Oh. Yeah. Um, so, oh, we're, well, technically we're kicking two people out of the party. Tita, someone has to be on babysitting duty. The other one is gonna be... Charizard. Dun dun dun. Sorry, Clyde. No! So we're, gonna have, we're gonna have the perfect party. No. Estelle, Chloe, Oliver, Zinn. Oliver? Olivier. Sorry. <laughs> Don't tell anyone I said that. What the fuck? <laughs> Okay. Hip deep in another case. We are. Oh yeah. Also, isn't uh, isn't Tita younger than Ren? Mm-hmm. That's funny. Yeah. That she's the one that doing the babysitting. It's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, from a kid's point of view, like you know, it's... when you're a kid, you don't want to hang out with adults. You want to hang out with other kids. Yeah. I mean, the only person that would be like it'd be Estelle or Chloe that would be like. Yeah. Not and not an adult. Estelle is literally our main character. Yeah, so. we can't we can't remove Estelle from the party. Yeah. But what if Elman came along? What if Elman was the character instead? Of, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know how. I mean, he has to have some training as he, a bracer. He, he probably does. Um, he's probably like the hidden badass of the bracer guild. That'd be that'd be cool. Yeah. That'd be hot. But you'd love that. I would love yeah. that. Yeah, I don't think he comes back after uh, these games, I'm sorry. Damn. I mean, I didn't think so, but you know. Yeah. Someone who stands behind the counter, I, I don't think they come back. <laughs> he is literally never... Well, no, he hasn't literally never left the counter, but... Yeah, but 90% of the time when we see him, yeah, he's behind the counter. That's where he is. Yeah, so... Alright. 
Oh, we still have a little bit more. This is a very, it's a very long cutscene. Hmm. So yeah, Charizard's gonna investigate one half of the town. We, uh, four, are gonna investigate the other. Uh, and then these two are gonna go shopping. Tita and... We're gonna buy weapons. Uh, I mean, Tita might. Yeah. I don't know what kind of weapon, uh, a small girl would use. An 11-year-old girl, I should say. Mm. Maybe a scythe. What do you think? Probably. I can see it. Yeah, I can, too. She's got the purple hair and the, the black ribbon of uh, Murasaki from Senran. Yeah. She doesn't use a scythe, though. So. No. What the fuck does she use? I don't even remember. Doesn't what she use her teddy bear? Oh yeah. Oh no, no. She has the, in the super long hair. She has the super the blades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's she has right. the blades. Yeah. So she has like spinny blades. Yeah. But like in her hair. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I, something tells me she, if there would be something, she'd be like a psych user. I don't know. Yeah. Is that a uh, clever what? foreshadowing? No. 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 Why? Well, it would never be clever foreshadowing. Would I ever cleverly foreshadow anything in the series? Yes. Possibly, and we just don't notice. You're just overthinking. Uh-huh. I'm just, I'm just spitballing ideas. You guys come up with your own, then. Good job. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. So, her father is a traitor from Crossbell. And, yeah... Harold and Sophia. You got that? Yep. Alright, let's go look for him. And ask about the non-aggression pact. Uh, people getting these letters uh, to stop the, the treaty. Man, we have two jobs at once. Ugh, so much work. Ugh. And if you're wondering why we've chosen specifically Olivier, uh, Zinn, and Chloe, is because they have inns at the embassies, respectively, and at the church. Not the church, sorry. The the castle. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Estelle uh, knows, uh, obviously, Denial and the Dorothy. Yep. of liberal news. So that's why these four specific characters are going uh, together. And Charizard's going to explore the others. It also means we don't have to explore like seven points of interest. Yeah. Oh, that'd be too much work. Also, we have to fix the party again. Hold oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. There we go. Oh, we're actually All almost done fixed. the video. Yeah, we are. Yep. Neat. There's a new uh, side quest for us to do, so we'll do that. Right now. Uh, it's going to take ten seconds. Uh, no. I we're, wish. We're turning in the other one. We're turning in the other one. All right. So we will take care of uh, all that other stuff we just talked about next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.